Hi everyone, today we are going to look at the golden yellows of PY42 and PY43 of Daniel Smith. So we look at French ochre, raw sienna light, burgundy yellow ochre, yellow ochre, mouse yellow, transparent yellow oxide, goetide brown ochre, and Italian deep ochre. There is one more that I don't have, which is uh, Verona Gold Ochre, so I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, I have uh, most of them, so we'll do some swatches and maybe some color mixing. So let's start. So we'll start for swatching French Ochre. French Ochre is a color I have uh, for a while already. It's a bit hard uh, to rewet and its tinting strength is not the strongest. It is it has interesting texture with the granulation. But I, you can see that I put it uh, already a few times and it's tinting strength is not uh, the best. We'll put more up to try to gain more mass tone. But you can see, it's not a lot. Next, uh, French ochre is PY43. Next color we look at is Rose Sienna Light. It's PY42 and its tinting strength is much much better than the one before it's not so granulating though and it's more yellowish than the french ochre Okay. Next, we look at the burgundy yellow ochre. It's a color that I bought uh, recently. It's very beautiful and I like it a lot. It's PY43, but it's more expensive. It's a uh, Serious too. As you can see, it's quite granulating. It's very beautiful. Next color will be yellow ochre, PY43. It's uh, one of the most loved ochre for me. It's quite transparent, but it has also very interesting uh, tone. and it's uh, granulating you clean it a little bit okay Next color we we'll look at is Mars Yellow. It's a PY42. It's a semi transparent and it's more uh, creamy 
Daniello Ocker. It's also, I think, maybe, I don't know, maybe less granulating, but I'm not sure. Because you can see here the granulation. It has strong tinting strengths. And I think maybe it's more yellowish than yellow ochre. Next color we look at is a transparent ye yellow iron oxide. We looked at it in another video. It's a really amazing color. I really love it. Just clean it a little bit. And it's very granulating. It has some uh, brown granulation. It's PY42. Next color we look at is the Gothite Brown Ochre. It's more brown. And it's very, very granulating. It is really strong granulation. You can see how strong it is. It's PY43. I use it also a lot in landscapes. And the last one is Italian Deep Ochre. Sorry. Which is a more uh, orangey uh, brown, orangey yellow, I'm sorry, yellow ochre. It's something between uh, yellow ochre to burnt sienna or more to Pompeii red. It's also granulating. Okay, I will now swatch also um, Monte Amiata Raw Sienna and Raw Sienna itself, the PBR7 ones, because I want uh, to make the comparison between them and the occurred, just to have this uh, information. So one moment. So here I have them both. So uh, Monte Amiata Natural Siena. It's also a color I really, really like. I work with it a lot. It's usually the Sienna that is uh, in my uh, uh, smaller palettes, travel palettes.
it's granulating it's really really great color next color we look at is the raw sienna the pbr7 also a color i really like as you can see it's more a uh, brown than monte amiata and it's also very heavily granulates so i will wait for these swatches to dry and then we look at all of them so we would like to mix um yellow ochre with uh, some uh, thalo torques and as you can see it creates very muted um, mixes because the ochres are very muted colors next we will mix yellow ochre With, uh, with ultramarine blue and as you can see they are very very muted again Next, we will mix mm, 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 burgundy yellow ochre with these colors. I actually like this combination more. I don't know why. And now we will mix burgundy yellow ochre with ultramarine blue. Yeah, and I like also this combination. Again, it's it would be like uh, more gray than green. Next, I would like uh, to mix the transparent oxide. with fatal turquoise yeah and i really really like what i got and the transparent yellow oxide with ultramarine blue again it's a bit grayish but i like it um and now
will mix the Italian deep ochre Fatal turkeys, fatal blue turkeys, sorry. It's more like a moss green. It's quite nice actually. And the Italian deep ochre. with ultramarine blue which creates more grayish black granulation uh, granul uh, mixing Okay, next combination I would like to do is these colors with Queen Red. So we will start with Yellow Ochre. And as you can see, it creates really muted orange. Then we'll mix burgundy yellow ochre. with a bit of Queen Red. Well, it's not a bit, it's quite a lot. So we'll put more Burgundy. And it creates an even more muted oranges. Then we will mix transparent iron oxide with queen red again it creates a really muted orange and Italian deep ochre with some cream red and again it's very muted it's also not really an orange one more color that I would like to look at, we'll put it here, is the goetite brown ochre. With some fake low turkeys. Put some more go tight. It's a really nice mix. The go tight.
with some ultramarine blue it's almost a black or a gray blackish gray and then go tight pull it a little bit with a bit of queen red Queen red is a very strong color, so we see that uh, this color, we have to put a lot of them with queen red to have something from them. And of course, it doesn't create an orange, but still it's beautiful. So uh, we will let these uh, colors uh, dry and then we look at it um i will uh, put uh, these uh, sheets of uh, mixing um at the end of this uh, video i hope you enjoyed this video have a nice time bye